Kerbal Space Program. Zombies in Space. Episode 1. Roll out the Kerbals. So, here I'm going to put uh, a few of these command pods together. Basically to get Jebediah, Bob, and Bill to stop climbing into every spacecraft or airplane or rover that you build. Um, keep them out of trouble and keep them safe. I was thinking that Kerbals tend to be a lot like zombies. They're pretty hard to kill. Plus, if you add in the fact that they don't seem to need life support, it would make sense that they might really be zombies. So perhaps they're actually some kind of an experiment, or something just really went wrong on their planet, which would explain why there aren't anybody, any other Kerbals or cities or anything around. Perhaps they really are zombies and somehow they've gained enough intelligence to use the technology that they've found around them. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to send them on EVA, do a little bit of science, do some research while they're out there. Like I've said before, I don't understand what it is with the Kerbals, but they don't seem to believe anybody in terms of, of knowledge or research unless they're wearing a spacesuit. So there they go. Jebediah taking surface samples <laughs> surface chart encoded well, anyway and uh, an EVA report oops I don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary to get here was it yeah although with zombies I don't know how badly they would need spacesuits but I suppose if uh, you know depressurization or whatever might destroy them Ah, uh, Bill Kerman. This is the most precarious situation. Go back, Bill. Go back. And now it's time to roll out the Kerbals. Go, Kerbals, go. Here we go. Here we go. It's not the easiest thing to control. And down the ramp they go. 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 Yeah, it's not the fastest method of travel. And in fact, while it's looking really fast here, I've actually sped it up like four times because, uh, yeah, it's not the most exciting thing. Although it sure looks like it's getting them, might be getting them dizzy um, or something. Nope. Here, I'll stop. Do some research. This is our space center here. We're home. All right. Oh, hey, check that out. This is the most precarious situation. Write that down. Excellent science. Okay, send Bob out. Go, Bob. Ouch. I think Bob just fell off. Hello, Bob. Okay. Take a surface sample. The substance is what makes the scientists yell at us when we go into labs without cleaning our boots first. EVA report. I don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary to get here, was it? I'm sure getting that a lot. Oh, oh, can't reach. Jump! Jump, Bob! Jump! I hate to have to walk all the way. There you go. Okay, get back in. And it's time to speed things up again. Go, 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 go. Go, Kerbals. Go, Kerbals. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to try to make a rover like this. Um, it's not the easiest thing to steer. It's not the most reliable. And up the hill you go. And if we can get out and climb those stairs, that would be great. Except that. Oh, oh, turn. Go, go. Oh, they're out of power. They're out of power, and they can't get out of the hatches. I could recover them and get the science, but then I'd still have the problem of them trying to get into every spacecraft that I've developed. So, I think I'll just leave them there. Maybe when I develop wheels and build rovers, I'll stick them on the rovers so that they'll stay on the planet. Don't want to risk Bill, Jeb, and Bob. 
it's not much fun when they're floating out in space. You, you feel inclined to want to save them. The other Kerbals, not so much. Although I'm thinking this is why we don't have human characters, uh, because you start to feel kind of bad if you were killing off humans. But Kerbals, yeah, they're expendable. Ah, here we go. Let's, let's build a rocket. Oh yeah, we need some guys first. Okay. Yeah. And him. And uh, we'll get him. And we'll get him. And then let's get somebody who's kind of not so stupid. Come on. There we go. All right. Now we got four. That should work. Okay, let's build a rocket. Now, unfortunately, I seem to have the uh, inclination. Oh, yeah, get rid of that thing. No more rolling out kerbals. I tend to have the inclination to try and do a heck of a lot of science right off the bat, which leads me to building some crazy designs that don't always work so well. So, let's try to do the same thing again. Stick four of those tanks on with the big engine. Oh yeah, get some girders on, put some parachutes. You know for a fact that the one parachute is not strong enough for this. Never mind what I'm going to add later. So even more parachutes. And some solid rocket boosters for good measure. And more parachutes. Whoops go up mark one okay save that and the one thing I forgot to do is as I often seem to is to get rid of the monopropellant from the space capsule because or the command pod because it doesn't do anything if you don't have RCS thrusters I don't see that there's any reason for the monopropellant okay let's launch this thing got lots of parachutes lots of parachutes Let's get some science. Okay, crew report. You record the crew's assessment situation. Get out there. All right, EVA report. This is the most precarious situation. Write that down. Get back in there. He's not going to go back, is he? Go in. Go on. Oh. Okay. Let's see if he can stand on that girder. I don't know. It looks like he might fall through. He shouldn't, but anyway, get in there. All right, time for this thing to fly. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, and we're off. So we get the solid rocket boosters going first, and then we'll get the other one, and it's tilting, and it's tilting. Oh, oh, straighten it out a little bit. Uh, it's tilting pretty good though. Um, yeah, well, I don't think this thing's going into orbit, unfortunately. Although it's almost twice the speed of sound. Oh, it's more than twice the speed of sound now. And he's out of fuel. Okay, let's get out there and check things out. Come on, come on, EVA. And the crazy guy let go of the ship. Grab on, man, before you fly away. Jeez. Almost lost everything right there. EVA report. You're starting to feel you should really get back into the ship. Yeah, yeah, good idea. I'm starting to feel that he should, never should have let go of the ladder. Okay. So let's see if we can store all this stuff. Board that ship. Excellent. Okay. Try and do a crew report. You record the crew's assessment of situation. Upper atmosphere. All right. So never quite made it into space this flight, but you know we'll get some research anyway. Okay, time to speed this thing up again. Falling kerbals. Falling kerbals. Da, da, da. And for whatever reason, it starts to go nose down. There was a little bit of heating effects there, not too much. It's not going that fast. And open up a whole pile of parachutes. 
Poof. All right. It's going 5.2 meters per second. Parachutes are working well. Didn't rip any parts off of the ship. And now he's floating. He's floating. Okay, you little Kerbal. Oh, yeah, crew reports. Don't overwrite that. Ah, just jump out. Yay. Most precarious situation, write that down. Uh, let's see if we can store all that back in there. Okay. Now try to do a crew report. Dun, dun, dun. Recorded the crew's assessment of the situation. Yeah, that was wonderful. Apparently he didn't have a whole lot to say. And, oh, there's moon. Moon. One day. One day to moon. Okay. Get out already. This guy. Trying to pose for the perfect shot. And he is standing on the girder. Okay. Get in the water. Get in the water. Oh. 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 That looked kind of painful. Again, the zombie theory. I mean, seriously. People falling like that. And these guys just get up and go again. Okay, while you're laying there, yeah, take a surface sample. It appears to dramatically increase the humidity of everything around it. I don't think a space suit was entirely necessary to get here. Well, when you're underwater like that, the spacesuit comes in handy. Um, otherwise, you... Well, I guess if you're a zombie, it wouldn't matter if you had a spacesuit underwater or not. But, you know, for normal people, a spacesuit would be useful. And recovered him. 15.2 science. Okay. Let's go to the recover his ship. Go up Mark 1. Recover. Recover. Another 28.8 science. So we got 44 science. Let's go buy some stuff. Let's get some technology. So I think it's not necessarily a, that the Kerbals are discovering things as they're actually learning to figure out things that they found laying around the space space center. Okay, basic rocketry, yeah, well, you got to start somewhere. Survivability is always good, I like those parachutes in the legs. Yeah, science tech, do some more research. Uh, oh, not enough points. Dang. They'll have to wait. Stability, yeah, especially if you can get into that later. General construction is really handy. Um, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. All right, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.